so yesterday I received one of these, and I'm looking at it, I'm like, what do I do? What's up everyone, I'm Darian, and in this video we're going to be talking about how to cash in a check, but also how to write a check for the very first time. In my last video I showed you how to do your taxes for the very first time, and I decided in this video I'm going to show you how to cash a check. Now obviously this check isn't a real one because I'm not going to show a real one to you, but I made up a fake check that we're going to fill out and we're also going to cash in a real check today with a friend. So this video is going to be pretty interesting so make sure you stick around to the end for all the information you need to know of how to cash a check and how to write out your very first check. Now let's go. Oh, can't forget a seatbelt. Almost forgot. Here's an example of receiving a check. Here we have the date, the amount, and we have to make sure that everything is fully filled out correctly before we cash it in. Now, when writing a check to give to somebody else, you must grab your checkbook and rip out the next check that is in use. Now, let's write in our log. We're writing that there was a check written out on 421. On the left, make sure you write out the number of the check written out, why or to whom you wrote it out, the amount, and make sure you add the balance in the end. Now, let's write the following. Who you're giving it to, the date, the amount in numbers, Next, the amount written out. For example, 85 or $100. If there's no change like 85 cents, then write 00 over 100 and put a line through it. That is very important to do. Lastly, write your reason for writing this check and sign your name. Congratulations, you've written your very first check. Now, in order to cash a check, you must have an account with that bank in order to cash the check and take money from it, either a savings or a checking account. If you don't have a checking account, you can set one up through that bank. and You will be able to write checks to people with the checkbook that they give you so that you don't have to hand people big wads of cash when you owe them amounts of money for an event or something. They will take it out of the money being stored in your account through that bank. Now, writing checks does not work for things like restaurants or shopping stuff. Its purposes are usually only things like paying for small businesses or when you hire people, or maybe even paying for events like youth group conventions, trips to the amusement park, or church dinner. Oh, and I almost forgot. Don't forget your signature on the back of the check. Make sure you write it in the right designated area above the line where it says, do not write below this line. My guy. Hey, so hey. we got Caleb in the car. We're about to go hang out. Yeah. <laughs> how are you, man? Good, how are you? Good. So, Caleb, I got a question for you. Yes. Have you ever cashed a check before? No. No? Well, I'm gonna be teaching you how to do it today, okay? Okay. Alright, so we filled out our checks and everything, and we're just gonna simulate writing a check out to me. So you wrote out a check for how much? $100. And then you'd hand that to me. We don't pay you for being a youth leader, that's the memo. Yeah, and then i put it out there. Oh wait, I should probably roll the window. Other way, Darren. <laughs> Other way, hold on. It's a crank, it's a crank. So I put it out there like that. Now if I wrote you a check, Caleb, just pretend you're you the church, I'd give this to you. And throw it out the window. If you're at the age that you have a license, make sure you get that out before you go to the bank because when you put it in the little tube, you're gonna have to put in your ID. license and the check that was filled out to you. If you don't have a license, then it's just your ID. So get your license and your check ready, then put it together and then you can drop it in the chute and then we'll send it up the tube and they will give you your money back for how much it was. So. Mm -hmm. 
And then you'll be getting cash back. Now, if you want to give a check to somebody else, like say I give this to you, then you do the same thing, or you can deposit it, which is for another video. I'll show you guys in another video, if you guys want to, how to deposit it into your checking or savings account. So, have you ever done any of this before? Not for myself, because I, I, I my debit card doesn't work anymore, so I gotta gotcha. get that redone, but. Sweet. All right, well, thanks for uh, coming along. No I problem. hope you learned something. Alrighty. Thank you, you too. So why do we trust in a small piece of paper in order to pay for something? Should we be anxious about this? Well, let's look at what I believe to be the source of all truth and all knowledge to today's problems and questions. I'm talking about the Bible, the Word of God, and it says a lot about lending and saving money. Now, the reason I received this check that we're going to be cashing in this video today is because I was helping somebody out. And they didn't really have a lot of money, but they felt led to do that. Now, why would they do that if they didn't have a lot? See, when we realize what we have received from the Lord, like this wonderful country, things like that, we aren't so stingy about our wealth anymore, and we can give some away. We can be content with just having enough or just to get by, or content with giving some away, only when we trust the Lord at his word, and that he will provide for us if we do what he says and give to others what they need. Matthew 6, 31-33 puts it this way. So don't worry about these things, saying, what will we eat? What will we drink? What will we wear? These things dominate the thoughts of unbelievers, but your heavenly Father already knows all your needs. Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously, and he will give you everything that you need. And that's what the Bible says about lending money to people. Don't be anxious about it or about the banking system. If we're secure in that or not, hey, put your trust in the Lord who keeps your eternal inheritance safe. Y'all, I hope this video helped you out through maybe some of the questions that you're having about this stuff. We're all kind of doing new things in our lives, and hey, it's always good to get good advice from people that you can trust. And that's what this channel is all about. We do videos on adulting, life, but we also do videos about the Bible and God and the truth. So as we say on this channel, now go out there and rep Jesus and have a beautiful day.